Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make homemade lamb euros. We're gonna be making a marinade for the meat, we're gonna make a tzatziki, and we're also gonna make the flatbread, so let's get stuck into it. All right, so we're gonna get started by preparing our meat. We're gonna be using a lamb leg today. You could also use shoulder, but if you are using a shoulder, you wanna make sure you trim it up really well as it's got much more gristle and fat in it. So we're just gonna take our lamb leg out of the vac seal and pat it dry. And now we're gonna go ahead and bone it out. So we're gonna start with this hip joint here. So you wanna get yourself a sharp knife. You wanna start hard up against that bone, working that knife around. And then I'll just lift the lamb leg up here and we're gonna to get to a point where we're gonna be separating this joint here. Spin it around. Now it's a funny shaped bone to be taking off. You've got a little bit that sort of points out this way but do the best you can and just try not to leave too much meat on the bone. So while we're here, we're just gonna square up that thin edge there. And then right here, we can see the bone running through here. We wanna use that as a guide for our next cut to run our knife up against. I'm just gonna start cutting down that side. And then this side here, I'm just gonna to continue to run the knife hard up against the bone. You'll get to a joint, you just wanna work your way around that. And then you'll eventually get to that Second bone, you wanna continue running your knife hard up against that, and then you'll eventually come to the end. And then you just wanna continue working down and around them bones. And even come around the other side of this lower section here. You can come back, you're right underneath that bone. And now that bone, is pretty much completely out. And then I just like to come through, get another little joint there. Just wanna get around that. And then we can come along this side, continue working that bone away. And there you go, don't throw that away. You can make some stock out of it. We can give your dog a nice little treat. Then there's a little bit of gristle here we'll just knock out. And then as we open this up, there's just a little gland in that fat pocket there that we want to take out. So if I cut that open for you, you'll just see that in there. Now we can just trim off any excess fat and any little grisly bits as well. And we'll flip it over and we'll take off any excess fat on top. All right, now that's looking good. I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna put these bones aside. And now that lamb leg is all boned out and trimmed up, all I'm gonna do now is slice it into steaks around three to four mil thick. Now that's all the slices I'm gonna take. I only need around a kilo for this cook. So I'm just gonna save this little end piece for a roast. Now we can put together the marinade for the meat. All right, so for this lamb marinade, we've got four cloves of finely chopped garlic. And then we're gonna add the juice of half a lemon. Now make sure you roll your lemon around on a cutting board nice and hard. That's gonna break the fibers up in the lemon and you'll get more juice out of it. Make sure you catch any seeds. And then a teaspoon of dried oregano, a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves, half a teaspoon of paprika, a pinch of salt, and cracked black pepper. As it is, that's perfect, but just to level that flavor up a bit more, I'm gonna add some garlic goals. We'll finish it off with about a quarter cup of olive oil. Give it a mix. Then we can add our lamb in and give that a good mix as well. Now, because that meat is nice and thin, we don't need to give this a long marinade. Two to four hours will do the trick nicely. So all I'm gonna do is cover this bowl with some cling wrap and that can go into the fridge until we're ready to cook it later. All right, so while our meat's marinating, let's make a tzatziki. All right, so super simple. In our bowl here, we've got one cup of Greek style yogurt. To that, we're gonna add two cloves of finely chopped garlic. And I've got a Lebanese cucumber here. I've just washed it and chopped the ends off. We wanna grate enough for around one cup worth. Now we just wanna pick that up. Make sure you've got clean hands and then you just wanna squeeze that juice out of it. And now we've sort of all compressed it and squeezed the juice out of it. It's probably around three quarters, maybe a half a cup now, but you wanna start with about a cup worth before you squeeze the juice out. Next, we're gonna add around a tablespoon of lemon juice, a good pinch of salt, about a tablespoon of olive oil, and then we'll give that a good mix. 
and then we can store that in the fridge until later on. All right, now let's make this flatbread as well. We'll start with a cup of white flour, pinch of salt, and then this is around 30 grams of melted unsalted butter and half a cup of milk. Just gonna add most of that, and then we're just gonna mix this together. All right, and then we're just gonna move that bowl out of the way, toss some flour onto our chopping board. And we'll just give this mix a good knead. If it's feeling too sticky, add some flour. If it's feeling too dry, then add some of that milk and butter mixture. All right, and after a couple of minutes of kneading, that's feeling really good. So we're just gonna place that in a bowl. We'll put some cling wrap over the top and just let that rest for a good 30 minutes. All right, so this has been resting for 30 minutes. We've cleaned our chopping board in that time. So we're just gonna sprinkle down some flour and roll this out. Now I'm just gonna divide this into three portions. And you can roll these out to however big you like them, but I'm going around that size at about two to three mil thick. All right, and these are ready to get cooked. And then to cook these, super simple. All you need is a nonstick pan, no oil, and we'll cook these for about 45 seconds to a minute per side until they're nice and golden brown. So after that 30, 40 second mark after you put them in, you should see them puff up nicely. Give them about another 10 to 15 seconds after that, and that's when you know they're ready to flip. And once all your flatbreads are done, pile them up, cover them with a damp tea towel, and they can just hang out at room temperature until we're ready to use them later on. All right, and after a couple of hours, it's time to check our meat. That is looking good. You can see the colors change slightly, which is a good indication that flavor has penetrated the meat. So what we can do now is get our rotisserie forks and just feed this meat straight on there. All right, and there we have it. If there's any long strangly bits, just sort of tuck them back into the middle and then sort of squish it back together. But for now, I'm gonna feed the rest of this unit straight through the middle there. And we'll tighten that up. We'll reposition that once we get it on the barbecue. But for now, this is pretty much ready to go. Gonna be using our portable rotisserie. So now let's set our barbecue up. All right, we're gonna be using the Oklahoma Joe's Rambler for this cook. The beauty about that rotisserie that we're using is it can suit pretty much any barbecue. So we will take our cooking grate off, get some fire lighters going. Put our charcoal chimney on top of those fire lighters. Then you wanna fill that charcoal chimney up with either some lump charcoal or briquettes. And we'll come back once these briquettes are ready, which will take about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so these briquettes are ready. So we'll get them dumped in. Spread them out nice and even. And then I'm just gonna get the rotisserie on there for a moment because I wanna be able to hold my hand under there for about two seconds before it becomes unbearable. If I can hold it under there for any longer than that, then I need to bring that heat source up. If it's too hot, then I need to lower the heat source. And so now our meat's spinning and cooking away. We'll come back to check on this once we're a bit further into the cook. All right, and after about half an hour, you can see some nice crispy bits starting to form. And all I'm gonna do is stop the motor once we get around to those nice crispy bits, slice them off, and then we can continue letting this cook. So I'm just gonna slide an oven tray under there, and then I'll slice these crispy bits off. And I reckon we've got enough meat in that tray to make our first euros. And you can load these up with whatever you want. I'm just gonna throw down some lettuce, tomato, some fried brown onion. We we'll get that beautiful meat on there. Gotta sneak a little bit for myself now. God, that is good. Top it off with our beautiful homemade tzatziki. Kind of fold it up here. Let's go have a taste. Mm. That is so good. There's so much flavor in that meat. That flatbread tastes great and that tzatziki just brings it all together. So there you go. How to make homemade lamb euros. What do you call them? Kebabs or gyros? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by pressing that like button down below. And if you don't want to miss my future videos, then subscribe to my channel. Shout out to my YouTube members for the ongoing support. But for now, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.